Good morning and welcome to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna jump inside and install some interior doors. I think we have three to do, so it won't take too long. You'll see behind me that they have started the septic system. I'll put that in a separate video, which should probably be out before this one. I'll wait till they have it all covered in and we'll kind of follow along with the progression of how they do that. But we'll jump inside now and begin installing those doors. So if you remember the last video, I did a brief tour about where we're at here. We finished the floor, finished all the paint. Do have some kitchen cabinetry that we'll have to install at some point. And you can tell we've moved in a table and there's a couch over there. So we're almost done. At the end of this week, this weekend, the electrician will come and install all the light switch boxes, the pot lights, the receptacles, all that will be done. So we'll have electricity in here. The solar panel, everything's hooked up. So it's just a matter of finishing those devices to have some power, which will be great. And then once the electrician is done, the plumber can come back and do a pressure test once the septic is done, which will be done by that point. Um, and the electrician will be done at that point. So the plumber will come in and do a pressure test on the lines. And then we can probably hook up some of the valves and faucets and whatnot in the kitchen and bathroom. But that'll be in a future video as well. I'm not even sure if that will be done uh, for winter or not, or what the plan of attack will be for uh, having this place heated throughout the winter. So that's a future us problem. Today's video, let's install some doors. And there they are. They're called Modern Farmhouse. You can see here, super basic, clean looking door. It just has this one large recessed panel. It'll be a nice clean look for a pretty clean looking interior. And there's three of them. You got the bathroom, utility room, and bedroom. Let's get going and figure out what goes where here. That one goes there. This one goes there. And this one goes here. Got my tools out here. I'm gonna use a drill, skill saw, impact, and 18 gauge broad nailer. As well as 72 inch level, I think it is. Two foot level. And then a couple hand tools. Let's go. So there's definitely a few ways you can go about installing a door. How I'm gonna do it though is make sure my measurements are all good, make sure the rough opening is all good, level the floor to make sure my foundation is level because I'm gonna be setting the door on that. So if the floor is off, the door could be off a 16th and that 16th over seven feet could make things go out of whack pretty quickly. So I check the floor for level, I check my studs for plumb. It will all work. I will have to shave three eighths of an inch off the bottom of the door. So I'll do that to all the doors so they're all the same uh, height. And then I'll plumb up my hinge side of the door with shims, make sure it's nice and straight with this. Plumb that up so I know I have a good side to go off of. Fasten the hinge side of the door and then fasten the handle side of the door. So it's pretty straightforward actually. Okay, I'm gonna cut this door down. Okay, the stud is pretty good for plumb. So at this point, I'm gonna measure where my hinges are off the door, and I'm gonna put a shim there, top and bottom, put my straight edge on, and then fill in the middle hinge wherever it ends up being. 71 and a half inches. 71 and a half inches. 
I just go bare minimum with my shim so there's not too much thickness because the stud is pretty plumb. Use the brad nailer to pin the shims just so I don't struggle with them, it's easier. And now that I have that top shim in, I'll do the bottom. Measure where that hinge is, it should be, yeah, eight and a half inches. Pin that on. Then all I have to do is measure this last hinge, 40 and a half inches off the bottom. And because I know the top and bottom shims make it perfectly plumb, I can just fill in this gap, this void in the middle. Double check, of course. Right there. So now that hinge side is plumb, I can put up my door, fasten the hinge side onto there, and then just readjust the far side wherever I need it to be. I pop the door stop off there, and that's where I'll fasten my screw so it's hidden. Sometimes you can actually fasten it behind the hinge or replace one of the hinge screws with a longer screw, but I definitely prefer hiding it behind the door stop because it's more centered in the jam, so there's less chance of the jam twisting. So I just make sure it's flush with the wall. Usually I just use my square for that. And then of course you should double check before you get too far ahead of yourself. Right there is good. I should actually just pop this door stop right off. Makes it a lot easier. And then I do the bottom hinge. And at this point I'll actually double check to make sure the jam is plumb. Now that both Top and bottom shims are fastened. Double check again to make sure the middle shim is where I want it, and it is. Go ahead and fasten that. Now I just make sure the door closes, and it's not getting hinge bound at all on that reveal. Pretty good, then I take the camera inside, and then from the inside I can readjust that jam so the reveal between the door and the jam are consistent. So this part is pretty straightforward from now on out. I fasten this top shim and because of the header of the jam, I knew I could just go snug and this reveal would be good. So I was able to install that one and now this reveal here for the door and the jam, I'll just continue on the length of the door. And because I know that this side is good and plumb, I won't even have to check plumb on this side. Side, I can just go off the reveal I see. I do want to make sure where the shim is closest to the door knob is good because that's going to see the most change. First door's done. You can see the reveals nice and even all the way down. Once I reinstall the door stop, I'll make sure the door is flush with the jam. Sitting pretty good though. And just because the distance between this shim and this shim is big enough, I'm gonna put another shim here, just to make sure.
And that door is done as well. Okay, I got halfway done the bathroom door installation. I put my shims on the hinge side of the door, made them nice and plumb. Then I realized that the linoleum floor is actually not glued down yet. So to save some hassle, I'll wait to install this door when the floor is glued down. That way I can just set my door right on top of the floor. We don't have to cut it around or anything weird. Have a potential seam that we would have to caulk. So, Hold off on that till tomorrow or whenever it's ready. That's gonna do it for today's episode. Bit of a shorter uh, day today. Doors didn't take too long. I'll do a few other small things, but that's gonna do it for this one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.